Well, Grammy High School freshmen, this story is for you. Mr. Bunker came to me a couple days ago and was really concerned about how the freshmen were doing in total, about assignments being turned in, engagement in class, and so forth. And he said, I think we need to tell them what we're thinking. So today, we have a few things we want to talk about, and Mr. Bunker has a few things that he'd like to share with you today. So Mr. Bunker and I are just going to have a conversation, and we want you to hear how we feel about you. So Mr. Bunker, why don't you start with what is really bothering you at this time? Um, I think that the biggest issue is that um, I've been really blessed with amazing classes. Um, I have these kids that come to this class every single day. Um, they check in. They're engaged to an extent that they're signing in and they're coming to class, yet I have over half of them failing. And so it brings to my attention, you know, what are you coming to class for if you're not going to engage in the activity? It's kind of what I keep talking to them about. Um, and then kind of that old saying that we say, you can lead a horse to water, but you can't force them to drink it. And I've kind of talked to them a few times about that. Um, and I kind of came to you and jokingly said, I'm trying to give away grades and I can't even give away a grade. Um, and so that's kind of my frustration right now is just as a teacher at this school, it really prides myself on working with the students and working really hard on making sure that every one of my assignments is very accessible for everybody and it can be done in a very timely manner. Um, to kind of have it thrown back in your face that they won't even attempt the assignment is kind of frustrating. So freshman, they really need you to hear me. Mr. Bunker is really concerned about you, and as you can see on our diagram up there, it says ninth grade students, we care. And we want you to understand that grades matter. The decisions you're making right now will be on your transcript for the rest of your life. And we need you to understand that every single assignment is due. It has a due date. Yes, many teachers accept them late and are willing to work with you, but every assignment is expected to be turned in. You're also supposed to engage in the work. Mr. Bunker, let's talk about what is engagement. Well, I think engagement can be a lot of different things. I mean, engagement can be simply just doing the assignment. I mean, just being participating in the assignment when it's given to you, showing your knowledge on the content that's being asked of you. That can be simple engagement. I mean, that's, that's baseline engagement. Um, the next step of engagement would be when I ask whether any questions or misunderstandings would be actually talking to your teacher and, um, you know, posing those questions. And I don't know if it's a nervousness thing or a pride thing or, you know, whatever it may be. And I just reiterate to my students that, hey, I am here for you. That's my job. I want to help you. Please ask me questions. And I think that's another part of engagement. That's another level. And I think the third level um, if we're going to, you know, level and put it in that, it would be just engaging with your classmates. If I ever, you know, I've, I've opened it up even to working in partners or working in a small group. And, and it might just be the times right now being in the pandemic and that feeling of loneliness, but um, kids aren't even really willing to work together anymore. And so I'm kind of seeing that loss of camaraderie. Um, and like I said, just engaging in the work period. Um, and I think as teachers, I can speak for probably 95% of the teachers here that we just want to see you attempt our, our tasks, our assignments, our projects, um, you know, and we are truly here to help. And if you would reach out with um, that email or a phone call or whatever it may be that, hey, I'm really struggling in this class. I didn't really quite understand this. I just need a little more explanation. I honestly can't think of very many teachers here that would not give that to a student. Students, I really want you to understand. You need to find an adult that you can work with, that you can trust, um, this could be a counselor, a principal, or an assistant principal, and your, your class advisor that you have um, advisory with in the afternoons, a teacher that you just really connected with or liked their work. We need you to do your work because at some point we're going to be able to take these masks off and we're going to be able to go back to school as close to normal as possible, and you're going to say something to the effect, oh, I wish I had whatever. And these grades are going to impact your scholarships, college entrance, or even just that perfect job you want or that trade school you want to get into. And we want to know that we've done everything we can to help you. So as we uh, finalize today, please reach out to someone. Do your homework. You need to understand there's 12 days left in this trimester, and you have to pass these classes, or you will be invited back to summer school as a junior or senior, you're going to be taking credit retrieval, all different kinds of things that are going to impact you for a very long time. So freshmen, you're the class of 2024, 
Let's make it something to be proud of.